Hey guys, so please excuse my appearance right now. This is my workout slash I just got done mowing um, look. But I needed to film a video today because the video that I had planned for you guys this week um, got deleted by accident. My Q&A video got deleted by accident. So I needed a video and I also really wanted to do this. And I'm feeling rather productive today. So basically, basically what I'm doing is I am going through my dresser that is behind me right now and I'm decluttering stuff. I've been obsessed, obsessed with watching declutter videos and people getting rid of stuff. And um, my one of my favorite YouTubers, Ashley um, Elizabeth Younging19, just started doing her declutter or she's been doing them for years. But um, I've been watching a lot of her declutters. Ashley Esbenshade, which is another West Virginia original um, YouTuber, just started her declutter series and it really made me want to start my own because I made it a New Year's resolution to kind of quit hoarding so much stuff and to get rid of it and I feel like if I put it on camera then I almost have to do it. But my ultimate goal with this declutter is to get rid of enough stuff to where I can um, put a desk in here and um, kind of use it as like an office desk and also as a vanity. So um, I have a lot of furniture in here that I need to get rid of. I have a lot of clothes and all that stuff that are in the furniture that I need to get rid of. So today we're going to start with my dresser. I'm going to go through each drawer and show you guys what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. So guys, so this is drawer number one and this actually just has bras and underwear and socks. I am going to declutter it, but I don't think that you guys want to see that on camera because that's kind of the boring part of all that. So we're going to skip this drawer on camera at least and I will go through it after I'm done with all the other drawers. So this next drawer is just shirts. Um, this shirt I really, really like. Um, it says love on it and it's got like this cool cutout on it. So I am going to keep this. This shirt I got at, um, when I donated or attempted to donate blood. It's a cancer survivor shirt. Um, it's supporting the fighters. It's breast cancer awareness shirt and I do wear this quite a bit in the winter time. So I'm going to keep this. This shirt is just a plain gray, um, like long t-shirt and it has these like studs on the front and I do wear this an awful lot so I definitely will be keeping this. This is my class shirt. It just says my year I graduated in my high school and then on the back it has um, all of our names. We signed it in this big 13. So I'm definitely keeping this. I think this is the coolest idea for um, a shirt idea. Um, didn't like it at the time but now I like it so I'm definitely keeping this. This shirt right here um, I don't wear a whole lot. It's kind of like an off the shoulder. It's got these weird like big open sleeves. I don't wear this a whole lot but I am going to try and wear this this winter and if I don't get rid of it in the next couple months then I definitely will declutter it. But for right now I am going to keep this. This shirt is my um, Dirty Dick shirt that I got at Outer Banks last summer. It says Dirty Dicks on it and then on the back it says I got my crabs at Dirty Dicks. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this. Um, it don't fit really good, but um, this shirt has a lot of memories and hopefully I will be able to get skinny enough to fit in this. So I'm definitely keeping this. This shirt is just a plain Jimi Hendrix shirt um, with him on it. I really, really like this shirt. Um, I'm going to try and wear this more often. I'm not sure if this fits anymore, but I definitely will try and wear this more often. Um, in the next coming months. I usually spend my summer wearing tank tops, not really t-shirts. I usually wear t-shirts in the fall, but this fall I will definitely try and wear this more. So if I don't wear this in the next couple months, I will definitely get rid of it. This shirt I'm keeping, it's just a workout shirt. Um, I just got this like a couple months ago, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is just a slip that goes under my dresses, so I'm definitely keeping this. I wear that a lot. Um, this is a shirt that somebody actually got me but I don't really wear it so I might get rid of this just because I don't wear it so yeah. This shirt right here is just another black shirt. I don't really know what it has on it. It's just like a girl. I do wear this shirt a lot in the fall um, and then it has this cool cutout in the back like that. So I really really like this. Wear this a lot so I'm definitely keeping it. This shirt is a rock shirt. It's kind of like an off-the-shoulder type shirt. It just says rock on it. I used to wear this a lot, 
But now I very rarely wear this, so I do think I'm going to get rid of this. This shirt is just a plain jersey. Um, it's not really anywhere, any, like, like, specific team. It's just I got it at Forever 21, and it has New York on it, and I don't like New York. But I do wear this shirt occasionally. Um, but I'm not a fan of New York's football team, and every time I wear this, people think I'm a New York fan. So I don't think I'm going to keep this... Um, put this in the pile to give away. This shirt is just one that I, um, I wore this a lot when I was student teaching. It's got a string on it. Um, I do wear this a lot in the winter. It's got kind of like half sleeves on it. Um, you can't really see, but I do like the shirt. It's a little bit big. I do think I'm going to keep this just because I think I do wear this a lot. And if I ever go back to school for teaching and have to do student teaching, I'm going to need a shirt like this. Now this shirt I have worn so freaking much. It's got the American flag on it and it's got um, like band gear. It's got a guitar and all this stuff and it's just white um, regular t-shirt with kind of like a v-neck and I do wear this a lot so I am going to keep this. This shirt my cousin gave me. It's an Aeropostale shirt. I stayed at her house one night and forgot um, pajamas so she gave me this shirt to sleep in and I do wear it a lot to sleep in. It's a little bit big for me, but I think I'm going to give this away because I don't really sleep in this and I have a lot of other pajama shirts that I sleep in now. So I am going to give this away. This shirt is, um, it's a Eeyore shirt. It says Chillin' 66 and it has Eeyore on the bottom. And I really, really love this shirt, but it's too small for me. And, um, my sister actually gave me this shirt, um, but it's gotten to where it's almost too small to me for me and I hardly ever wear it so I am going to give this away. This is a shirt from my college that I went to, Eastern Mennonite University. This is from the volleyball um, invitational that I worked at actually. Um, I didn't play volleyball at it but I did work it so they gave us the shirt for working the event and then on the back it just says like um, all the teams that we played and that kind of stuff. So I am going to keep this because I do like this shirt. This shirt is actually tanked up. I didn't actually realize that it was in here. But it has this like flower skull on it. Um, I do wear this a lot. Um, and then on the back it's got um, skulls on it. And it's kind of like sheer material. You can kind of see through the back. Um, I do wear this a lot so I will keep this. This is my Mountaineer shirt that I wear every football season. For the Mountaineers because I am a West Virginian so I will be keeping this for football season coming up. Sam, if you're watching this, this shirt is for you. This is a shirt that my cousin gave me. It's a Dixie Outfitter shirt which I am not a redneck by any means but my cousin gave me this shirt when she lived with me many 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 years ago because my mom is not a very redneck person and my cousin was trying to turn me into a redneck and so she gave me this shirt. I think I am going to get rid of this because I just don't ever wear it. This is my Miranda Lambert shirt that I got at her concert. It has her and a pistol on it. I actually got banned from wearing this to high school um, because it has a gun on it. Um, so I couldn't wear this to high school, but I really, really like this shirt. It says, the revolution starts here, and then her tattoo is on the bottom. If you guys didn't know, she actually has that as a tattoo, so I'm definitely keeping this. And this shirt is also another concert shirt. This is my Kid Rock shirt, which is another shirt that I got banned from wearing in high school because it has a gun on it. But I really love Kid Rock. He is my man. I would do bad things to him. And then on the back is my favorite part. This is another reason why I got banned. It says, you never met a motherfucker quite like me, which is Kid Rock's song. And it's awesome. And I definitely will be keeping this. And these last two shirts are just Redskins shirts that I, again, wear football season, um, and I will be keeping these. Um, this drawer has, like, a lot of stuff in it. Um, bathing suits, and it has my onesies in it, and just all this random stuff. Bathing suit covers and stuff like this. These I'm keeping. These are just some lace shorts. This is a bathing suit bottom. It's just plain like this, and I'm definitely keeping this. You guys have probably seen me in vlogs with this on, and then this is the top that goes with it. This uh, is another one that I will be keeping. This is a 4th of July, like a red, white, and blue one, and it's a flag. I wore this to the beach last year. It's super cute. Love it. Um, just got it like last year, and it fits me so good, so I'm definitely keeping that. As well as these. These are the bottoms. This I think I am going to get rid of. I've had this for super long. It still fits me, but um, 
I just had it for way too long, so I'm definitely going to try and get rid of that. This bathing suit is super cute. Black and white hearts on here, and then it has colorful hearts on here. It's kind of faded because it's been out in the sun. And I used to wear this to tan in. Definitely keeping this bathing suit. Um, here's the top to that one. It's got, it's reversible, it's got the hearts on one side and then you can switch it and make it colorful on the other side. Again, it's kind of faded because I've wore it out in the sun so much, but definitely keeping this bathing suit, I love it. This is a bathing suit that I need to get rid of. This is super cute, I'm so in love with it, but the top no longer fits me. Um, it's got like this pattern on it, it's got peace signs, it's pink, um, it's a string bikini. No longer fits me, so I'm going to get rid of this. This is another bathing suit that I need to get rid of. Um, it looks like this, and it's like a tankini type thing. Um, and it's faded all to hell, like you guys can see there, where it's like so faded from being out in the sun. And then the back is not faded at all, so it's very discolored. Um, from chlorine and from all that so I'm getting rid of this and this don't even fit me really well anyways in the boobs. This is a bathing suit my cousin gave me. This still fits me really really good. It's just a tie up bikini and the um, top looks like this as you guys can see and then the bottoms just are the same. It's just like a very plain kind of bathing suit. These are bottoms that are again extremely faded that I need to get rid of. Oh here's the bottoms to that other bathing suit. The bottoms on this are broke. Um, the string like came untied as you guys can see. So it's supposed to go like this. It's supposed to go like that and it's just the same design as the top but the string came off of it so it's very uh, old and needs to be getting, gotten rid of. These are just a pink bottom that goes with that tankini. Um, again, extremely faded, you can see, but um, it's got a little bow in the back. These are cute, but again, just extremely faded, so I definitely need to get rid of these. Uh, onesies. This one is, you're not going to be able to see these in the camera, but this one is a Walking Dead onesie. But this is a Walking Dead onesie, as you guys can see right there. And the hood of it has a zombie face on it, like that. And um, it's just a giant onesie, and I'm definitely keeping this. These are so soft and so good to wear in the winter time. I have, these are some bandanas. Um, this is the bandana that I wore in our color run that we did last year at my college. And as you can see, it's all colorful and... Um, very color run it esque so I'm definitely keeping this because of the memories and because it looks cool so I will be keeping this this is my Casey Musgraves um, thing bandana that I got at her concert definitely keeping this I think it's adorable I never hardly wear it but I'm definitely keeping it and this is another onesie this one don't have a hood but it's just a zebra print onesie looks like this and it has like the feet in it which I don't really like the feet on it but these are so cute like they're little zebras I will definitely be keeping this and now I'm going to go through these um this drawer on the bottom is pants which I'm not going to go through because I've already went through these recently so I'm not going to go through this I'm only going to go through these two so let's just get started into this so as you can see in this drawer as of right now, these are some Under Armour um, shorts that I just got. They're just like spandexy shorts and I really love them. They're Under Armour. I got them at Ross as you guys can see, but they're like this. Definitely keeping these because I have not wore these and I just got these like a couple weeks ago. And then over here is just another pair of leggings which I am keeping. They're just plain black cotton leggings which I like the cotton ones better than I like the spandex. So definitely we'll be keeping these. These are another pair of leggings that I just got. Um, I got these like last winter and um, they're 90 degrees by Reflex. They have this cool pattern on them. Definitely will be keeping these because I wear these all the time. And then I have some more like workout clothes. These are um, just a pair of shorts to work out in. They're Adidas as you guys can see on this side. They're Adidas, and I wear these a lot to work out in, so I will be keeping those. There are just 
two more pair of cotton leggings these are brown and these are black definitely keeping these i wear these all the time in the winter time this is a pair of they're really really super thick if you guys can't see they're really super thick um gray leggings i never wear these so i probably will get rid of these i've only wore these like once so i definitely will be getting rid of these long sleeve black shirt um that i just got at walmart it's like um it's a dry power shirt it stays very dry it's very soft it's long sleeves i have like two of these and they're really nice to wear under stuff or you know whatever you want to wear them by themselves as well so i will be keeping that i think i need to get rid of these are black like the gauchos remember when those were cool guys they're like silky and they're like capris but they're like very baggy at the end probably will be getting rid of these because i never wear these anymore and then these are just like sweatpants and other stuff these are a pair of sh uh sweatpants that say love on them i wear these all the time my mom just got these for me like a couple months ago so i will be keeping those is another pair of like that silky um like workout material and i think these are adidas as well yes these are adidas as well and i definitely will be wearing these so i will keep those these are my holy grail sweatpants i freaking love these they're like three sizes too big and you guys have probably seen me wear these all over the place they're just like a regular pair of Hanes sweatpants but I love these so much they're so big they're so comfy and I wear these all the time in the winter so I will be keeping these and then this is just another big pair of sweatpants that I rarely wear so I probably will be getting rid of these because again it's just a pair of sweatpants but it's in a color that I just never wear so I will be getting rid of these it is just a head thing it's camo I wear it in the winter time when we go hunting um, for camouflage and it goes over your ears and covers that so I will be keeping this and now moving on to the next and final drawer that I will be going for going through in this video at least is this drawer it is shorts um, a lot of these I've already went through but I'll just go through with them quickly these are from rue 21 which is kind of like um, forever 21 they're high-waisted I wear these all the time um, in the winter or in the summer, I mean, and I definitely will be keeping these. These are also from Rue 21. A lot of my shorts are from there. These are kind of longer jeans, and um, I love these so much, except they have a bleach stain on them right there that looks kind of funny when I wear them, but I definitely will be keeping these. These are another pair of Rue 21. Um, these are, again, longer. These I wore in high school a lot. They have something road on them um, for some reason, but they're like that if you guys can see and they've got kind of like stripes on them i will be keeping these this is a pair of shorts that i think i just got at walmart or somewhere they have lace detail on the bottom of them and i definitely will be wearing these i wear these a lot i love shorts and wear them a lot so a lot of these i probably won't be getting rid of but we'll see how that goes these are actually in the wrong drawer but this is just a cotton pair of leggings that look like jeans um they're super stretchy i love these um, wear these all the time again I love leggings and wear them so much so I definitely will be keeping these this is a pair of LEI jeans that my mom gave me that I actually cut off by myself they're a little bit big on me because they were my mom's um, and she grew out of them so they're still a little bit big for me but I like these um, I like to wear these when I'm feeling bloated or when I don't feel like wearing super tight jeans so I wear these a lot again just shorts I got at Walmart they're no boundaries they got stars on them I actually think I wore these in one of my um maybe I wore these I wore these for 4th of July I know but I might have wore them in my get ready with me too um, I'm not so sure but I will be keeping these I love these and then these I definitely wore in um, one of my videos they're super cute I got these just last year and I've only wore these a couple times because they're kind of can't really wear them with a lot of stuff because of the stripes and the stars but I definitely wore these in my getting re get ready with me for 4th of July video so I will be keeping these love these now these I have no clue where they even came from I don't even wear these um these are faded glory jeans and they look like this they're kind of i don't really like them so i probably will be getting rid of these um i don't even know where these came from to be honest but i will be getting rid of them so yeah these i also 
kind of wear a little bit. Um, not really. Maybe I will get rid of these. These are Arizona jeans. Um, just cute little shorts. They're adorable, but I don't think these fit me. So I might keep these out and see if they fit me here in a minute and then decide. But um, for right now, I'm going to keep them. These are my favorite shorts in the entire world. I've had these for so, so long. Um, I don't even know where they're from. It doesn't even say. Um, yeah, it doesn't even say where these are from, but I love these so much. These are my favorite pair of jeans to wear ever and definitely will be keeping these. This is another pair of Rue 21 shorts. Um, I wear these a lot. Um, these are kind of longer as well. Not quite as long as the other really long ones, but, um, definitely will be keeping these as well. And then I'm still debating on whether to get rid of this. I've had this for years and years and years. It's from Rue 21. It's a mini skirt and I hardly ever wear mini skirts. So I don't know if I'll keep this or not. Um, I'll have to wait and see, but for right now, I'm going to keep it and see if I wear it more, and then I'll probably get rid of it in another video. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I'm super, super tired after all that. I also mowed today, so if you guys want to see that on my vlog channel, because I am vlogging today, um, I will link the vlog from today in the description box of this video so you guys can go see why I'm so tired. It's also like 10 o'clock at night. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments that you guys like these because I definitely will be doing more of these. Like I said, I have goals for what I want to do with this stuff and how I want to rearrange this room, so I will definitely be doing more declutter videos. And I know I didn't get rid of a lot of stuff today, but I have a lot more stuff around my room. The closet is probably going to be my biggest declutter, um, but... I did get rid of quite a bit of stuff. So anyways, if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.